Hey everybody, this is Jeff here once again bringing uh, one of the later updates on the progress of the 1537 scale kit bash model kit that's been worked on here. All the masking, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, man, it was hot outside and I was out there washing the car. It's hot. It's hot. Hot. It's hot. South Arkansas. Warm. That's okay though. All right. Uh, all the masking that I was doing for this kit has been taken off. All of it, including these on the top and bottom of the navigation on the flag. I haven't seen that off since I originally started painting this ship, all the different colors that it has been. And uh, what I've gone through and done here on today, well, yesterday and today, actually, is masked off. There's my ball. I cut out a bunch of uh, squares and rectangles and I masked off on here and I gave this ship some paneling. That's cool. And how I achieved this was I took all those nice little squares and rectangles you see right there down there, a nice little ball, ready to go in the garbage. Took all that and I placed it all around the ship in different areas. And then I took this. Testers. Spray lacquer. <laughs> Some lasa and aerosol. I took that and I sprayed it all over the ship. And then I pulled the masking off. Now, the paint that was on here was a little glossy like. So when I laid the tape down and sprayed that, well, that matted the paint down everywhere else except for where I had the tape lying at. And as you can see there, as we come around, let me lift her up some. Yeah, you can really see it. Um, and what that did was it masked off the shiny areas and matted out everywhere else and gave me a little panel effect around this model. Worked out pretty good. Pretty good. You can see it there uh, really well on top of that in the cell because that one was far more glossy even than this one. You can make it out a little bit on this one but that's okay though whole point of it anyway is to you know it not to be just all that noticeable do have just a little light sanding to do on it to knock it down uh, knock down that uh, orange pill a little bit kind of smooth it out some but uh anyway though let's flip her over oh lights quit playing with me as you can see here along the bottom you can really see that orange peel on the bottom, but just some light sanding there with some thousand grit or higher uh, sandpaper, something like that, and I'll take care of that. But that is that is cool, and that's budgeting. That's not uh, you know this is an effect that can be done not necessarily with buying stencils, buying masking. Uh, you know, pre-cut, prefab masking and stuff. You know, this could be done without that, just with tape. And I'm hoping that sometime or the other on another model, I'm going to um, utilize yet another method as well that Tim Ketzer with the large scale, I think it's 1277 scale uh, Enterprise A. His way that he masked off making a stencil you know, a hard stencil with the shapes cut out. You just lay it over it and you spray and then bam, you pull it up. No individual things and stuff. And, you know, it may even be able to do that with a uh, multicolor effect on one of these models or multi-shade effect on one of these models, um, especially the larger ones. Smaller ones, yeah, you know, one 1,000 scale Excelsiors and 1,400 scale Enterprise E's. We'll see about that. But uh, as far as the uh, 537 scale, definitely the 350 scale uh, should be able to utilize that work. But we will see, though, because, you know, trying to find ways of doing things where it's not costing me very much of anything to do it. And you know, me going back to my roots, go back to my roots of modeling on a budget, which is where I started out at. But, uh, that is what's been done so far on this model kit. Now, what we've got, if I can find it, I can find it. Let me look over here, my pile of many things underneath this very, very, very big uh, 
Hercules gunship. Somebody please point me in the direction of what I need. <sighs> well, what I was hoping to find were the decals that's about to go on this model. Anything? 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 Jeez. Where are they? You know what? I'm going to take a pause a minute. Why I go find these decals? I'll be right back. All right. Now I'm back. Quick pause for y'all. About three minutes for me. Now, here we go. Decals. This is a generic 1.537 scale set of decals that I ordered from federationmodels.com. They're PNTs. Awesome. And you've got everything you need to give yourself to give yourself at least one large uh, number on the top, large one on the bottom. Well, semi-large on the bottom, and uh, you know several around it. And it's pretty cool. Bunch of different things. Ooh, I like that right there. That's going to look awesome somewhere. Hmm. Right there, maybe? Possibly on the top. I don't know. Either way, though, I am going to utilize this set and give it a set of awesomeness. Ooh, I like the doors, too. I like the doors because that's going to come in handy right there. Right there. Let's flip it back over again without pissing it off. There we go. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, give it a set of doors right there. We've got the lights to either side. Um, that'll look cool. That'll look really cool. And actually give it some doors down in these areas too. Down in those areas as well because that is a hatch zone. Those are hatches. So, yeah, I'm really just now really just looking at this to see... And planning because I had to finish getting it, uh, it painted first. Now, I do have the detail painting to do the phaser, uh, your phaser emitters uh, around the BC deck area. Of course, the warp nacelle uh, detailing and stuff. And I'm thinking about highlighting this in a different color altogether, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I think it may stand out just a little bit too much. And then maybe a few accent colors, and then that'd be it. But other than that, though, that's really what we've got left detail the small detail painting and stuff and then decals and then grime it up a little bit more because this is a well used ship you can see there different color in the cell one of them got lost somewhere out there when they were doing a job they had to get another one so and i've got a little bit of a something extra i'm gonna do on this as well to uh give it just a little bit more of a we had to rig something up look to it and stuff, something not so clean, streamlined, typical Starfleet, Star Trek stuff. So, go forth and continue working on this model. Those of you out there building models, could keep on building. And I will talk to you guys later.